New Zealand looks to be going through a cultural revolution. By the shores of the Whanganui River, I talked to a prophet of that revolution, James Baxter, poet, playwright, philosopher, and spokesman for the social outcast. One of the distinguishing features of the New Zealand landscape, the social landscape, I mean, when I left, I think, was its flatness. There were no peaks or valleys to speak of. It was a monoculture, very much. There were no extremes. There was a strong pull towards the flat, respectable middle centre. Now, is that still true? You've said there's a, a minor cultural revolution taking place, but how complete is it? I used to call the old culture the concrete playground, meaning the pub on one side and the church on the other side, and nothing growing in between. A few marching teams and so on. This would be a pioneer Puritan society. It may have had its points a hundred years ago, but not so much now. Well, yes, the young ones react partly because of the advance of commerce and technology. It smashes up things as well as making things. And it tends to smash up communities. So the young people react undoubtedly. And some of the old ones do too, in measure. I'm always more worried about the ones my own age. That's the way it is.